Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is uh, parallel circuit number three. So here we have a parallel circuit, and um, sometimes circuits are drawn in such a way that they look a little different from what we're used to. So we have to just sort of stop and take a look at it and, and figure out what are we really looking at. Um, you can see that across here is our battery from this side to this side. We also can see that this resistor here is essentially across the battery. Again, this is our short circuit here from the battery. And here we have our line as well. And right across here, this resistor is across our battery. This one here as well, so R2 from this point to this point. They're connected to this line. So across here, we're essentially across our battery because this line is connected all the way back to this side of our battery and this one as well. And here when we go up all the way to this resistor here, see that this point and this point are also across the battery. And resistor 4 up here is as well. So all four resistors are in parallel and they're in parallel with the battery. So then we can solve for the total resistance for this circuit. And we use our formula for resistance in a parallel circuit. So here we have 1 over 1 over resistor 1, which is 4.5 kiloohms, plus 1 over resistor 2, which is 825 ohms, plus 1 over 6.2 kiloohms, plus 1 over 10.8, and that's kiloohms. <clears throat> now we do this in our calculator, and again we do the denominator first in the calculator just because it's easier to calculate. So 1 divided by 4.5 exponent 3 plus 1 divided by 825. 1 divided by 6.2 exponent 3 and then plus 1 divided by 10.8 exponent where the 3 go 3 equals. Now here we have, <coughs> excuse me, solve for the denominator. So now we do x to the minus 1, which gives us 1 over that. So second function, x to the minus 1 equals 592.3 ohms. So our total equals 592.3 ohms there's total resistance. Okay, so now we can also solve for total current using Ohm's law. So I total equals E total over R total. So we have 120 volts divided by our resistance Five ninety two point three equals two hundred two point six milliamps. So two hundred two point six milliamps, and that is I total. Okay. Now, essentially, what we could say is this circuit then could be drawn this way. Here's our battery. And all that parallel resistance could be written as one resistor. So this is R parallel, which we just solved for up here, our R total. And here's our 120 volts. And the total current is running through this circuit. All right. So in this circuit, total current runs here, just through the battery. And then once it gets to these sort of forks in the road, 
it splits. So we end up with I, I1, that's resistor 1, right? I1 going through here. I2 goes through this resistor. Splits up here. I3 goes through this resistor and I4 goes through here. All right? And so let's solve for those. So I1 equals the voltage across resistor 1 divided by R1. The voltage across resistor 1 is 120 volts. So we have 120 volts divided by 4.5 kilo ohms. So we end up with 120 divided by 4.5 exponent 3 equals 26.6 seven milliamps. I2 equals E2 over R2, which is 120 volts, over R2, which is 825 ohms. So we have 120 divided by 825 equals 145.45 milliamps. 145.45 milliamps. Notice smaller resistor, larger current, right? Which is reasonable. I3 equals E3 over R3. Again, our voltage is 120 volts, and that is over our 6.2 kilo ohms. Hundred and twenty divided by six point two exponent three equals nineteen point three five milliamps. And I4, voltage 4 over resistor 4, 120 volts over 10.8 kilo ohms. And again, that's our biggest resistor, so our current should be small here. So we have 120 divided by 10.8 exponent 3 equals 11.11. .11. So, all right. Now what we can do is add up all those currents and it should equal our total current. And I'm just going to add up the numbers, not the milliamps, because they're all in milliamps. So here's our 11.11 .11 added to the 19.35. Oh no, can't do that. So 11.11 plus 19.35 plus 145.45 plus 26.67 equals 202.58. Now we just sort of stop and take a look and see if that actually is correct. So when we were through it earlier, we got our 202.6 milliamps. This is basically a check. So all of the currents through each of these resistors adds up to the current that's running through our battery, okay? Now I'm not gonna solve for total power, but you can if you want using these formulas and the total power power total we know equals E total times 
times I total. Let's just do that piece. So that's our 120 volts times our 202.58 milliamps power total equals, there it is right there, except it's not milliamps, no that didn't work, okay so 120 times 202.5 exponent minus 3 equals 24.3 watts. Okay. And if you solve for the power across each resistor, it should add up to 24.3 watts. All right. <clears throat> and so that's very quickly a parallel circuit. And uh, this has been brought to you by Wise Guys. I hope you have a good day. Take care.